In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your social media posts by using webhooks. Hi, my name is Tom from Akoya, and in the last video, we talked about RSS feeds. In this video, I'm going to talk about webhooks. It's another new feature we integrated into Akoya, and this new feature works great with Make.com or Zapier. An example of this automation, let's say you have a spreadsheet with 100 names, and you want to create a social media post about every one of them. You can use Zapier or Make.com to make a connection between the spreadsheet and Okoya. But by using a webhook, it makes it really convenient and really easy. You can even use it for Slack. Maybe you send a message and you automatically create a social media post. Now let's just jump into it. We're gonna go to the automation tab and we're gonna click on new automation, your automation, and we're gonna use the webhook. Click on save and continue. And here you have your webhook link. We're gonna copy this for later. Here you can change the setting, what's gonna happen when you post to the webhook. You can even publish on socials immediately. Now I like to save as a draft post because I still wanna check it before we post it. But you can, however, if you want to just publish it straight away now here we have the instructions on using webhooks and here we also have the options for example you can create a simple text post by putting in text and if you want to test this you can even copy this over go to a new tab and test it here your simple post and if we now push this through you'll see a log id we go back to our automation and we can go to the event log and as you can see it says success uh, your simple text post. By the way, I see a spelling mistake here. Let me change that. So to change the name of your automation, you need to pause it, update and set live. Now we're gonna go advanced. Basically what I want to do is create a spreadsheet with beautiful images. In this case, I'm gonna have a collection of docs. So we have make.com open here and we have a simple Google sheet connection. Now this is nothing special, basically just my drive. You connect the sheet name, table contains headers. These are all the basic settings that are already in make.com. We're gonna press okay. We're gonna add another module and we're gonna make a request. Now we can put in the URL. For example, in this case, we're gonna go to the instructions again. We're gonna have a text and an image. So a text post with media. I'm gonna copy this over to make, and then we're gonna replace the URL. To make this a bit more clear, I'm now gonna show you my spreadsheet. So I created this spreadsheet with a title and an image URL. This is really simple, but this can be anything that you want. This can also be a name list, but it can also be captions. In this case, a title and image URL. Ideally, what I want to do is put in our caption here and put in our image that we want to use for the social media post. Going back to make.com, we're gonna select the URL and we're gonna select our B column. We're gonna delete this URL. So now it says media and then our image URL and then caption. I'm gonna remove that and we're gonna put in title. So every time we put in a new row, it's gonna get the title as a caption and the image URL as the media. Going back to make.com, press OK. And let's say we now have a duck. I really like this one. We're gonna copy the image address. We're gonna paste the URL. We're gonna put a title white duck. We're gonna go back to our make and we're gonna run it once. Now we're gonna go back to Okoya and look at our event log and we see media and we see the text is a white duck. So what we're now gonna check is if we go to our planner, we should see our posts, this is a white duck. Now let's go back to our automation because I'm gonna show you something really exciting. We go back to configuration and we go to instructions on using our webhooks again. There's one that we haven't spoke about and that's this one, text post with AI template applied. So here you see your text and format Facebook ads. And basically what this is, you can use a webhook to generate a AI caption, for example. So if you go to AI template formats, you can see all the formats that you can choose uh, choose from. And this can be, for example, a Instagram ad copy. So we can copy this over. We can go back to make.com or Zapier or any automation tool. We go to our HTTP requests and what we can do is use this format. So it's uh, basically our API and then caption your text and format Facebook ad. We can delete this text, we can use the title and the format is a Facebook ad, that's fine. Gonna remove our previous text. We're just gonna add a new row so it updates and run once. And as you can see, it shows in our log again. We go to our planner and it created a AI generated post introducing the adorable white duck. This cute and fluffy creature is perfect 
for brightening up your day. Now, this is of course just an example. It can also be a list of all your products in your e-commerce store, or maybe create social media posts about all your prospects. Maybe turn all the vacancies in a spreadsheet into social media posts. The options are endless and we also want to challenge you. We're really curious on what you're gonna come up with and do let us know in the comments. For now, I thank you for watching and then I see you next time. Bye.